Uh, hello, in this video I will show you how I built a chicken coop for my broody chicken. Uh, this is my main chicken coop where I keep all my chickens, ladies, or rooster Rambo. It is winter outside and tonight the temperature will drop down to 0 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius and uh, inside in the nesting box I'll show you in a second we have a chicken who has decided to have baby chicks and uh, she has been sitting there for a couple of days and nights now and it looks like she's not going to leave the nest she already has some eggs under her so I decided to separate her from the rest of the flock and build her her own coop where she can have her baby chicks and because it's winter and cold outside I plan to put it inside my basement where it will be nice and warm for her Here in the basement uh, I used to take product photos back in the day and I think this will be a very good place to put my broody coop. Actually I still make those wooden hangers, they can be found on Etsy. Okay, let's get down to it. So to make it I needed a plan and after a good research I came up with the, this design. It consists of two parts, uh, one where the chicken can hide and feel safe and uh, the other where she can go out and stretch her legs. And uh, it's important that you have an easy access to it. Also you can use this type of coop for any other small animals. And if you are interested in building such a house for your pet, you'll find a link to the plans below in the description. For me it's easier to paint parts before cutting them to required length, but you can paint them later or not at all, although I would recommend using some protection for the wood. While the paint is drying, I will prepare the sheets for the walls. You can use any sheet material here. I'm going to use these scraps I had left over from building this chicken coop. Cutting these out was easy and straightforward. I used my circular saw. You can also use a jigsaw. It was the same with the frame parts. I simply cut the necessary parts according to the list. I recommend using a miter saw because some parts had to be cut at an angle. When all parts are cut to length, we can start assembling the frame. Uh, I'll do it on a floor, because a flat surface can be a good help here. I recommend using screws and not nails or a nail gun to assemble this frame, and also to drill the pilot holes for the screws. When the framing is done, uh, then the previously prepared walls can be put together. To cut the hole for the door, I used my circular saw, but uh, you can also use a jigsaw. I used my nail gun to finish the job, but you can also use small screws here to secure the walls. I thought that there was not enough space left in my workshop, so I already took one part to the place where I will keep it. I attached opening roof there on the spot. For the cover I used a piece of plywood, but 
if you want to keep it outdoors you should definitely put a proper roof on it like a shindle or maybe something lighter Uh, it just so happened that I have this metal mesh that I will use but uh, you can use any other mesh available to you. We simply cut it to the required sizes so they fit in their places. I used pneumatic stapler but any stapler will do for this job. And I'm very sorry, but for some reason my camera did not focus. So I took it to the side and bolted down the bottom sheet, because I'm going to put litter inside. If you plan to place all of this outside, then the bottom does not need to be covered. Let the chickens get to the green grass. Furniture fitting that will allow the lids to remain open would be very good for this. Perfect timing, I just got my delivery. I will leave some links from my shopping list in the description. I use hemp straps for bedding, but you can also use pine shavings. So everything is set, uh, I can take my broody hen to her new home. <laughs> if you like my video please give a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this then press the subscribe button thank you for watching